I am going to convert this loader from a pin type loader that it came from the factory like this. These two pins are going to have to come out. That pin and that pin. It's off. To a quick attach loader like this. So now I'm cutting the uh, the tabs where the uh, uh, the pins were in this pin type loader. Cutting them off, those two things there. Okay, just cutting those off. These tabs here have to come off so I can weld the plate up flush with this flat surface. Uh, on this Kubota, it also has, I'm sorry I'm shaking a little bit. I've been cutting. Uh, on this Kubota, it has a, a little wedge here just to give it strength. So I'm having to cut here and then around the wedge and go down. And I'll have to cut out uh, some of this wedge uh, depending on how wide that plate is. And I'll show you all that. But uh, these ears, uh, these tabs have to come off. That's where the pin went in the uh, original uh, configuration on that pin type loader. But as you can see there, they're already off the other side. Gotta cut them off. I got all the tabs cut off. Now I just have to grind it down smooth because the plates are that I have to weld on are smooth, completely flat. Okay, so I ground off the uh, the residue from cutting these tabs off, as you remember these what came down like this and had the big pins on them. Uh, ground them off, tacked, these are the plates I was talking about, tacked these plates uh, to the back of it, lined it up with the, uh, the quick attach uh, adapter uh, that goes on the, the front end loader, <clears throat> hooks it into the pins, the original pins of the front end loader. And uh, nephew's coming over in a minute to uh, weld, and I uh, hope he doesn't laugh at my tacking. That's pretty tacky tacking. Besides, that looks good. I'll show you uh, once he gets it welded. Uh, I'll show you the uh, uh, how it hooks up and everything. Some of you are real familiar with this, but uh, others aren't. Uh, Cost-wise, I guess I hadn't covered that. This uh, these weld-on plates, I think, were uh, two hundred dollars. Uh, I believe it's right, 200 even, I'm pretty sure. The, uh, and this is a pretty pricey thing. The uh, quick attach, uh, everything black is what I'm talking about. <coughs> Excuse me, everything black is the quick attach. It's from WR Long. I bought it through, and I don't think you can buy straight from Long. I believe you have to buy it through one of his dealers. I bought it through everything attachment. And uh, this was, uh, if I remember right, $837 for that piece right there. Uh, again, here's the arms. That when, when you pull the arm down, it pushes that pin down. Whether you can see that or not. Get under there, maybe. Anyway, it locks. That pin goes down here. I know I'm jiggling, I'm sorry. Uh, pin goes down in there. This lip here hooks up under that lip, and then the, the pin goes down and holds it in. Again, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but um, $837, if I remember right, for the quick attach adapter, $200 for the weld-on um, brackets for the bucket. So, um, you know, kind of a pricey deal. But I'm getting uh, getting a few new toys for the front end loader, for the front end um, that I'll be using, and I've just uh, I, I'm gonna have to have the quick attach. I don't, you know, is it is it a have to have to? Maybe not, but uh, if uh, anyway, I'm, I did it. I spent the money. 
okay so uh this is uh this is that and it's uh i think it's pretty cool i think i'm gonna like it i've already hooked it up a couple of times where it's great my uh wells held but we're gonna get it welded up permanent here in a little while this is my welder for the day dustin say hi dustin how you doing <laughs> Here's the welding job Dustin did. Very good job. Welded it twice. Went down it once with 6011s and um, came back on top of that. Tied it all together with uh, 7018 rods, I believe. 6011 is a rod. 7018 for those of you nut welders. Uh, did a did a good job. You know, I could have done this, but since I'm really not confident in my welding, I. Uh, Every time I used it, I would always wonder if it's going to break. So I know it's done right. I'll come along the top and uh, and I'll hit that top myself just to make myself think I did something. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's it's on there real good, and uh, I like it. I've already worked it hard, and uh, didn't come loose. That's what we want. I also had to cut these, um, this little wedge, it was a little piece of angle iron that was protruding out the, uh, it got in the way of the arms here. So I had to cut that out, to cut a little piece of it out there so the arm would clear it when it went down both sides. Show you how easy it is to take off and put back on. Um, First of all, you pull these levers up. That lever sends a pin down in here, straight down in there to lock, uh, to lock that uh, adapter into this plate. Release both sides, and I'll show you how it comes off. Once you have it in, push the levers down, and it's done. It's on there, it's on there good. <laughs>